London is the scene of frequent protests. Recently, the city witnessed Ukrainian flags waving together with historical Iranian flags as demonstrators protested the war and the Iranian government. U.S. officials said Iran is Russia's top military backer in the war. Iranian protesters want Tehran to stop supporting Russia. Ukrainian women are organizing weekly protests in London. Anna is one of the founders of Women Fight for Ukraine. Fearing for her family's safety, she asked VOA to use her first name only. We actually draw a big parallel between Russians and how they didn't stand against their government when their government chose to attack Ukraine brutally. We are together with Iranians who support freedom and democracy as opposed to Russian and Iranian alliance of terror. Ksenia manufactures teddy bears, but is finding it difficult to continue her work after the war started. She also asked us to withhold her last name. Uh, what I miss my country uh, the most, yeah? Yes. Um, in Ukraine, I miss the most... No. <laughs> Unlike the soldiers back home, the demonstrators here don't carry guns. They don't wear uniforms. They fight on a different front, and their weapons are their fundraising, their voices, and their protests. Solomia Luis Havrilova fled her home and is now working in a London hospital. In Ukraine, she was a music teacher and an opera singer. Her father, Sergei Havrilov, was also an opera singer until he volunteered to join the Ukrainian army. Now, Havrilov sings opera while digging a trench with other Ukrainian soldiers. As my father fighting in military now, I realized that I can fight here for my freedom, for my country, because here we can go to the protest. We can, we can, si I can sing, and by singing, by by donating, by doing the protest, we all can fight in some way for our freedom, for our country. Ukraine, despite the full-scale invasion by Russia, has not perished, and neither has its desire to keep its freedom. The people of Ukraine and Iran here in London hold hands as they push for a better future at home. For Umberto Aguiar in London, Marcus Harton, VOA News. Three, three, three. <laughs>